In this video, we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing fractions. The first thing you want to note is when multiplying fractions, you do not need common denominators like you did when adding and subtracting them. So let's take a look at our first example, multiplying 3 fourths times 2 fifths. So 3 fourths times 2 fifths. And we're going to multiply these two fractions in the following way. All we need to do is, again, we don't need common denominators. We can go with what we have here. Multiplying the numerators, 3 times 2, over, and then we just multiply the denominators, 4 times 5. So when multiplying fractions, all we do is we multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators, and that becomes our new fraction. So 3 times 2 is 6 over 4 times 5 is 20. And then we can simplify. It says simplify our answer. So in order to simplify 6 20ths, we have to notice there is a common factor of 2, both in the 6 and in 20. So we're going to divide by that common factor. Divide by 2 in the numerator. Divide by 2 in the denominator to keep things balanced. So when we do that, 6 divided by 2 becomes 3. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. And there is our answer. Simplify. Now, there is another way we can do this. But really, it's the same answer, the same process. But in this case, in the first solution, we simply started right away with our multiplying the numerators and the denominators. And then we simplified by dividing by 2. In our second solution, we're going to start off with the same fraction, but instead of multiplying right away and then simplifying, we're going to start by simplifying if we can find out a way to do so, and then multiplying. So what that means is we're going to look for common factors before we start to multiply. And the common factors need to be between numerators and denominators, although there is no common factor between 3 and 4. And there's no common factor between 2 and 5. But there are, there is a common factor between the 2 in this fraction and the 4 in this denominator of this fraction. So we're going to divide out a common factor of 2 in this numerator, leaving 1. And we're going to divide out a common factor of 2 in the denominator of this other fraction, leaving 2. And so if we now we multiply, after we simplify, 3 times 1 becomes 3, and 2 times 5 is 10. So our answer math is 3 tenths, which is exactly what we want. You can choose whichever one you like. Typically, my students like solution 1 first because they just want to start off multiplying and then worrying about simplifying later. Uh, solution 2 becomes a helpful technique when you get into slightly more advanced math. The fractions and the numbers get more complicated. Sometimes you might in algebra start getting letters and things. And it helps to simplify first and then multiply the device. But you can for now pick whichever method you prefer. So now let's go with dividing. The dividing and multiplying fractions are, are somewhat related. They're pretty similar. So let's start off with an example here. Two thirds divided by four thirds, and then simplify our answer. So let's start off with two thirds. So when dividing two fractions, what we do is we flip this second fraction, or find the reciprocal of it, or we invert it. There are a lot of different words for that. But we just flip it. And then we multiply it with the first fraction. So the division gets turned into a multiplication by simply flipping this second uh, fraction. So now we multiply just like we did before. And I'll use the first technique. We just simply multiply 2 times 3. 2 times 3. And then in the denominator, we have 3 times 4. So we end up with. 2 times 3 is 6, over 3 times 4 is 12. And again, we want to simplify if we can. And 
So we look to see if there are common factors in the numerator and the denominator. There is a common factor of 6. That's actually the greatest common factor. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. And 12 divided by 6 is 2. And so our answer is 1 half. Now finally, I wanted to give you a slightly different looking fraction uh, division. So let's start off with 3 fourths. 3 fourths divided by 2. Now this doesn't look like a fraction right away, but we can easily make 2 a fraction by writing it as 2 over 1. And now it does become apparent. It wasn't clear how we could find the flip fraction of that, but now we can flip 2 over 1. 2 over 1 flipped, or inverted, is 1 half. And then we multiply times the first fraction, 3 fourths. So 3 fourths times 1 half. And we're going to go back to our first method in uh, multiplying fractions. Let's multiply the numerators. 3 times 1 is 3. Over 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 3 8. So this, this is a, a, just a brief introduction to multiplying and dividing fractions. And I hope this helps clear things up. And I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video.